Hey guys, it's Logan from Coaster Kids, and today we are at Central Park Funland, and we just met up with with Seth and Cole, who we haven't seen in like two years, so it's great to see them again. How are you doing? Good. Good. Awesome. And yeah, we're here with Eliza, Callie, and Zach, and myself, and we're also going to meet the general manager here, which is actually Clint Novak, and I'm pretty excited to meet him. He seems like an awesome dude. And... Yeah, I'm excited to ride all the rides here, maybe play some of the games, and just have a lot of fun land here at Funland. <laughs> yeah. Ah-ha! I'm laughing. Oh, yeah. How are you guys doing? Right when we walked into Funland, we ran into Clint Novak from In The Loop and the general manager of Central Park Funland. So just tell us what's special about this park. Well, you know, one, uh, I'm a coaster enthusiast like you, and I'm running this park. So it's it's a very different feel. Like everything I do here, I try to take in the account that uh, it's a coaster enthusiast running it for fans of the industry and for guests. And it's, uh, you know, I, I really take pride in that. So uh, I wouldn't have this job if it wasn't for all the stuff that I was doing, uh, you know, with the videos and YouTube and IAPA and all that stuff. So. Uh, but that being said, uh, you know, we're much bigger than other FECs. So we're not the size of like Fun Spot in Orlando, which is now an amusement park. But uh, if you go to like a Chuck E. Cheese or, or other FECs, we're much bigger uh, than they would because we have more rides and attractions. So, uh, you know, that really that's really what stands apart from other places. And we have a, a unique variety of attractions. You know, for an FEC, we have Clip and Climb. You saw those walls coming in? Yeah. Those climbing walls? Yeah, other, other places like us wouldn't uh, uh, venture into uh, that big of a space dedicated to physical activity um, and then uh, of course we have our rides and attractions just put in our new coaster too you got to get your coaster credit yeah twist and shout dang straight yep yep sounds awesome sounds like a pretty cool place yeah definitely uh, we've got a lot of crazy stuff that you'll be able to uh, do today uh, laser tag is closed today okay because we have a haunted maze in there tonight Still and so on Fridays awesome. yeah yeah it's the scariest maze in the Fredericksburg area so we give you a flashlight, it's pitch black, you can't see anything except with the flashlight. Small groups go in, six at a time or less, and, uh, and and only your group is in there, so it's not like it's a conga line of people going in and out of the house. It's one group at a time goes through, and uh, we just concentrate all of our scares on that. So uh, it's a lot of fun. I'm in the house tonight, so if you go through, look forward to scaring you. All right, <laughs> I'll be ready, I'll be prepared. And, awesome. and Logan's got something for you? Oh yeah? Oh, very nice. You, you, it's missing something on the top, though. Yeah, what's it well, what happened to the propeller? What's, a, what's it missing? It's missing a, a, a propeller on here. I got something yeah. for you, too. But mine includes a propeller. So oh. uh, there you go. That's for you. So Thank you, you very uh, much. You have the Clindovac beanie hat. I'm honestly going to wear this for the rest of the day. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> So Clint, what do you think of Coaster Kids? You've watched a little bit of Logan's videos. What do you think about them? You know, I love what you guys are doing. I really do. Uh, you know, getting getting uh, kids to step out of their comfort zone and go out there and do what you're doing, these videos like this, uh, it's awesome. It really is. And, uh, you know, it takes a lot of work to do stuff like this. I know you know this because you're doing it. But, uh, you know, to keep a, a fan base going and to uh, uh, get the support that you guys have, it, it's incredible. And I see these shirts and logos everywhere when I'm around the parks, and uh, I always give you guys a shout-out. Sometimes they look at me like I'm crazy, like, why is this guy in a propeller beanie, uh, you know, say, Coaster Kids! But, uh, you know, I do it, so I, I love it. I love seeing everything. And I'm so happy you were able to stop by the park, too. Well, I'm happy to hear that you like what we do. Awesome. Thanks, Mr. Novak. No problem, guys. Something that I found pretty unique about this place, whenever you don't see a ride attendant or a ride operator, you just text someone and they'll bring a ride operator. That's pretty cool. This is my first ever spinning coaster. I'm very excited. Um, it's a lot bigger than I thought it'd be, so I mean, I'm pretty excited. There was a lot of fun people.
Ohio, which is Virginia's tallest and fastest and longest spinning coaster. And it went around like 15 times or something like that. It was pretty insane. And you know, if this was at like a really big theme park, I would probably rate it a one. But for what it is, like a indoor spinning kitty coaster, probably like a two and a half. Okay. Um, I actually really liked it. I was pleasantly surprised. It ran around like so much and we didn't spin that much, but like Callie and Zax, they were spinning like crazy when we were going up right there. I think that was a three, honestly. I actually liked it a lot. Um, it's fun. Uh, I'd give it like a three and a half, I guess. Okay, back. Um, so, like, like Eliza said, me and Callie kept spinning around in circles. And on the trip here, I kept on hitting my head, and I kept on hitting my head on this ride. So the head hitting keeps on happening, but I rated it probably about 3.5 five because when it came to like the area where they call it the station, it was pretty forceful to us. Um, it was fun, um, and I rated it 3.33. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. Um, I thought it was really fun. Like Eliza and Zach said, we spanned so much in the back row, uneven. It was crazy. Um, I rated it a three screams. It was really fun. Great reviews. Let's Great have some coaster. more fun. It's like your guys' home park, right? Yeah, well, um, Kings and Dominion is our home park, but, but we come here a lot. Home, fun land thing you place. Awesome. Yeah. You guys come here like on snow days in the wintertime, yeah. right? Yes. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Great. Awesome seeing you guys. And you know, after riding Scat 2 at Beach Bend, I thought this ride was going to be absolutely awful, but I actually really liked it. I, I don't know what I liked about it, just the G-forces and like, laying straight down. I, I don't know. Three screams. It was a fun ride. Well, I've been to a lot of these like different fairs, different festivals and stuff. And um, usually, they have ones that have the back go up and like, your, the floor drops, kind of drops off around you. But this was one of the weaker like roundups I've been on. Uh, I'll rate about like a two screams, but it was like just like a bite. Yeah, two screams. I don't know what to Um, this is my first type of ride I've ever ridden like this. I really liked it. Um, I'd rate it like two point five screams. I really liked it. Um, 
it's not really my taste in rides. I just sort of got dizzy on it. I used to love these when I was a kid because, like Zach said, they're at a lot of like they're fairs so and festivals good, and stuff. Okay, when I was a little kid, and <laughs> yeah, I, this used to be my this used to be my favorite ride at the fair. And now I just I don't know. I don't know what changed, but now I just sort of get dizzy on it. But I see how oh, people could like it, so I guess I'd give it two screams. Um, I've been on this ride before. It's okay. It's really long. So if you like it, it's a good thing. But if you don't like it, it's a really bad thing. Um, it makes you dizzy. It, I don't really like it. But it's cool how this centrifugal force keeps you against the wall. But I like the um, Starship 2000 ones where the walls go up and you completely stick to them and you can crawl around. That, I like that a little bit more, but I'll probably just read it a one. Only two of you brave enough to do it. And we're the one that spanned the fast too. Oh. Yeah, well, okay. Okay, so we are doing the hot and maze. I've heard it's pretty good. Yeah. I can't see your faces, but I can see your shirts. I'm scared. Oh, kids.com slash shop. All right, guys, welcome to the maze of darkness. Fredericksburg's scariest regional maze. Come on in. I'm about to have you guys wait one second. We do small groups, okay? All right, guys, welcome to the maze of darkness. We just went through Maze of Darkness, and holy crap, that, that was definitely the scariest haunted maze thing I have ever done. Even though the only other haunted maze I've done is Blackout at King's Island, and there were no scare actors there, but there were a lot of scare actors there, and holy crap, that was good. Like, the scare actors do this thing where they have magnets, so that way the flashlight, like, turns off when it detects the magnet. I don't think that was... They were modes, I think. Yeah, true. I would rate that a 4.75. That was awesome. All right. Yeah, I really like that. I think that is like a very quality haunted house. That could be at like Cedar Point. I think it would fit right in. Um, you do go in at like one group at a time, which you know, it does slow down the operations, but it's good because like the scare actors follow you around so that like they're always just like focusing on scaring you. That was really good. I'd say 4.5 screams. This one was really fun. Um, it was very, very, very fun. Very scary. It was way scarier than I expected. Um, a lot of jump scares, like, there's this one tour guide. There's this one tour guide that, like, he looks nice at first and wearing, like, this Dracula costume thing. And then he comes up scaring you. I would write 4.75. Um, I've been through a lot of mazes. This is definitely a good one. I really recommend it. Um, it's really long. I, I, I like that it's long. Um, it's in it's in the complete darkness. You do have a flashlight. That's really fun, and um, it is really loud, like when they bang on the walls and stuff. But other than that, it's quiet in there. There's no music playing, so you just hear your like heartbeat and in the like sound of your heart racing and 
and it's just it's just really fun. Uh, I like it a little bit more than Blackout. Um, the only thing it was missing was it needed a little bit more like stuff in it. Maybe I would say like different textures on the walls and stuff, and maybe maybe soundtrack in there. But I, I overall it was a fun experience. Probably three point seventy five. That was my first maze ever. Like I've never done any mazes at like any amusement parks. That was super scary. Now I hope that was scarier than some of the ones at like Kings Dominion and Busch Gardens. But that was super scary. And it's actually in the laser tag uh, arena. So they um, so um, we got lost at one point and we thought there was no other ways. But there was another way. And I rated five screams because it was I, w I was about to scream like 20 times. We just had a very fun day at Funland. Ha ha ha, knee slap. <laughs> but yeah, it, it was actually, yeah, it, it was actually a really fun day. Like riding Twist and Show and playing all the games and the Haunted Maze, that was the best way to, to end the day. And thank you to Clint Novak for hooking us up with these free wristbands that get us on all the rides and attractions and and the buffet. Wait, we paid for that. But anyway, <laughs> I hope we'll see you guys later. And as always, be, be brave, brave and ride on! on. Bye! <laughs>